Hello, hello, and good afternoon. It's uh, time again for the Nikki Clark Radio Show on Hotline Radio, and the show is about conversations that matter, speaking to people from all walks of life who are making positive changes in the world, and we have another dynamic woman on the line. She is the co-founder of, I'm going to say Zaya, Z-A-Y-A, and uh, doing formidable things to help people uh, manage their skin, to beautify their skin, and to extend uh, the, 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 the wear and, and, the, and the beauty of, of what they have um, going for them through, through essential oils. So please welcome Anna Tubina to the show. How are you doing today, Anna? Hi, Nikki. I'm very well today. Thank you for having me today on the show. I'm pleased to be here with you. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, we appreciate it. And uh, let's, let's get to it. I, I had the uh, real pleasure of meeting you at uh, the Holistic uh, Health and Beauty Show uh, not too long ago, and I sampled uh, one of your creams. And I've been using it since I met you. And do you know how many compliments I get on my face? You know, I, I, I'm usually, so I take happy very good care that. of my skin. <laughs> But I have I have an extra glow now, and people say like, "What are you doing? You you look really really good." So I know what my secret is, and now the secret is out, and I want people to know uh, the great line of organic skincare uh, and uh, herbal education that you have in your company. So let's talk about how it started. How did you get into uh, creating this company? Yeah, and before I jump into it, I just want to thank you for using that word glow. I am happy to hear <laughs> this particular word because we are using this word to describe uh, the feeling and look of the skin that we're trying to, you know, bring to our customers with our product. And here you are mentioning that. Uh, thank you so much. Um, so uh, my, my background, <laughs> what led me and us to creating this line? Um, it actually rooted in my early childhood, uh, my belief in importance of being watchful of what you put on your body um, is there deep in my childhood where I was fighting and struggling with quite severe uh, skin care, no, not skin care, skin care related to some extent, allergies and sensitivities. And that time, uh, that time in Russia where I was born, uh, the market didn't have so many natural skin care products. It was just emerging. So my parents visited all kinds of medical doctors and with no good results, and they, they ended up choosing the different paths. They were PhD chemists, both of them, and they realized that what they needed to do is to detox uh, our lives, uh, our household. Now, in that time, we didn't have such a modern and cute and um, nice word, detox. Uh, It meant Mm -hmm. for them just getting rid getting rid of all potential allergens and all potential um, irritants that could harm, you know, enter my body through the skin or through the inhalation and harm myself. So, and the other thing that they decided to do is to basically get rid of all conventional skincare products and use their knowledge and create the products that would be healing on my skin and that would be clean. So that's how mm-hmm. it all started for me. And, you know, as the time uh, went by, we managed to fight that condition and, and to be a winner in, in, that, in that war, I should say. Uh, mm-hmm. I continued my business studies uh, there you know, their passion, their efforts evolved into the first natural skincare business in Russia in that time, which still exists. Uh, and uh, I basically helped them. I learned from them, but that was always um, a part-time hobby for me rather than a job. Mm-hmm. And uh, part two of my journey happened already here in Canada when I moved here with my husband. And um uh, after the incorrectly administered meditation, my body, you know, triggered all kind of autoimmune reactions. And that's where the deeper transition to more conscious consumer lifestyle for me actually started. And as I was able to heal myself, um, and our family was blessed with our first child, my values and interests shifted so much that my professional life 
just would not align with that anymore. So mm-hmm. creating Zaya, you know, along with uh, my parents and another close friend of mine, Katrina, uh, mm-hmm. that meant for me coming back to my roots, bringing in all the family knowledge, the, the wisdom of two generations, three families, embracing my love to nature, to plants, and basically the organic continuation of who I became through that mm-hmm. path. Oh, wow, that's a fantastic story. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I, I really understand, you know, the, the core of the, the drive that you have. It makes absolutely, uh, absolute sense to me, and, and I know that your um, family – uh, were very instrumental in, in guiding you through this and in your own personal experience. You know, I find when, when entrepreneurs are driven like you and uh, they, they're doing um, kind of disruptive change to what is going on in mainstream uh, like yourself, and it's great change that people uh, need to be aware of, uh, I find that it, it's, it's because of a, a great personal connection they have. And, uh, and I'm so glad that you're, you are here to, you know, share your story and, and uh, uh, give us um, some insight as to how that happened. I wanted to ask you a question. Zaya, did, does, does that yes. have a significance? Is there a meaning or is it named after someone? <laughs> there is a meaning to this word uh, since uh, we have a Slavic background. Um, you know, we wanted to name a company uh, – <laughs> We wanted to pick a name with somewhat, that is somewhat close to us. And Zaya actually in Russian means a, a little cute bunny or hair, I should say a little hair, that, uh, you know, that in Russian language often used towards the people who you love. Somewhat similar to honey, which we sometimes use in English language, or towards your husband, or, lovey, or sweetie, yeah. exactly. But also, okay. also we picked uh, this word because uh, bunny is often a little bunny is often a symbol of um, cruelty-free campaigns uh, that are thankfully taking place throughout the world. And we thought that would be a great combination because our line is vegan, it is cruelty-free, free, and we love animals, and we're uh, actually partnering with Human Society International in Canada to stop uh, to stop the animal testing and generally to be a part of the activities. So that's the second meaning to this Zaya word <laughs> that I can uh, open up for you. I love it. Thank you so much. And how has your life been transformed by starting this company? You know what? It was a drastic change and... Um, uh, making that decision uh, to completely shift my professional life into this area was not easy uh, because I basically was, you know, professionally accomplished, loved what I did generally and had the best boss ever in my office, office world, in my corporate environment. But uh, as those changes happened to me, uh, I was just feeling that I'm – I'm losing that sense of belonging towards the community I'm in, and I realized that I probably didn't fully, never fully had it. So people who are surrounding me during my business hours uh, not necessarily share the values uh, and share the, you know, the understanding of what's important in life. Obviously not all of them, but, you know, I'm even... Also, I'm talking not only about people, but as an environment itself, a typical Western uh, corporate environment. Um, and I think what I've gained uh, even, even more through that change is the chance to spend my business hours, my business time on something that really matters to me, something that um, I should say resonates with my personal experience and something I believe is very important for other people too, uh, I believe this is the area where I can bring value in other people's lives, uh, holistic well-being, self-care, because I think, uh, I think skin care is definitely a part of it. And to me, the feeling that I'm bringing more value to the society that way as a natural skin care company owner uh, is very important. Um, again, I'm not saying that performing a statistics statistical analysis that I used to do is not important. It can be actually a tremendous uh, value, 
but um, from my perspective at the point of life where I was, uh, that's how I felt. So yeah, I think these two things are mainly what happened for me, the ability to create values for others in the area that really matters to me, and I think gaining the great sense of belonging, of belonging to the community, to the new community that I share, the businesses and the people. That's, I think, those, those are two main things I can, I can mention here. Fantastic. And let's talk about your partner in crime <laughs> uh, yes. doing uh, wonderful things with you, um, Katarina. Um, Katerina, yes. Me, Katerina, how did you connect and, uh, and, and what is her role in the company? Uh, you know what, we've actually been uh, close friends for more than a decade and we've known each other from Russia and it just happened that way that their family moved to Canada probably a couple of years after my family and it was just a coincidence and I think we were blessed to have uh, our close friends here after such a drastic change of uh, drastic uh, changes moving to another country mm-hmm. and um, she knew my experiences she was the one supporting me a lot with uh, you know with all my uh, personal health related fights and uh, she is <laughs> she's absolutely beautiful lady and she and she's totally in love with women's beauty with style with colors in life and once we sat together with her and we were talking about natural natural skin care choices um, and uh, we were discussing a number of uh, women friends of ours who are not willing to shift to natural skin care just because they are the natural skin care lines often look very plain uh, and someone once gave me the comment that they look boring on the countertop. And here was Katerina saying, look, if it were uh, a brighter skincare line, the skincare line that brings color into the bathroom on the countertop and into their lives, maybe that would be uh, something what could push them towards, you know, better skincare choices. And uh, we started that talk. And basically, it all came together with my experience, with her fascination, with beauty, with her feeling of style. We created that line that, uh, that is packaged uh, and, and um, um, wrapped, I should say, in very bright colors <laughs> due to okay, that conversation great. we had in the cafe. Okay, beautiful. And describe some of the... Um, the uh, the creams or the the oils that you have uh, some that are are really growing in popularity. What are the ones that people are gravitating to? I already you told what, you my uh, favorite. Yes, totally. Uh, well, in terms of the products themselves in our life uh, in our line, I think the best sellers and the ones that we are getting the best you know, thank you after people I use them. Those are our line of creams and mm-hmm. um, and our facial and our eye oils. Uh, the creams offer uh, unprecedented unprecedented uh, skin comfort and that, that was our goal when we created them. Uh, they are quite simple in their composition in terms of they are not overwhelmed. We believe that less and more is more in natural skin care. And when you see the frightening list of, you know, 25 ingredients, uh, Mm -hmm. I think the skin doesn't need it. And I think the composition should be reasonably simple yet effective. So the creams are, I think, uh, those are those are the products that are the latest addition to our family. We've launched them a year ago, and we're very proud of them. Uh, They contain the vegetable wax of the neem tree, which is very, uh, very rare ingredient. You wouldn't find it, and this is one of our know-hows. Uh, that's amazing ingredient on the skin and works beautifully in our creams along with uh, uh, some plant extracts. In terms of the oil blends, we tend to use very lightweight oils. Uh, the examples could be evening primrose, camellia oil, borage oil, um, rosehip oil, the one we're working with right now for our upcoming uh, oil blend. And we always uh, say to people, 
uh, don't be afraid of using oils. The fact that one didn't match your skin doesn't mean all of them will not do any good for your skin because oils are actually very powerful, powerful substances mm-hmm. and they have very different chemical compositions. And you can always find the one or better the blend uh, that mm-hmm. suits your skin because what happens... Often people use coconut oil. It's quite heavy with low absorption uh, uh, ratio, and then they give up on oils at all. (laughs) So we're trying to educate people as much as as they can so they open to really good and healthy skincare options here. Fantastic. And let me me ask you about the the line that you have. Uh, Do you have anything that is specific for for um, gender, or do you, do you have something that's growing maybe for children? Because I uh, work in front line in communities. I'm seeing a lot more uh, sensitivity for children, skin sensitivity. Yes, do you have anything unfortunately, like that yes, later on? that's, you know what, we, we are planning to launch uh, uh, a number of unscented products for the most sensitive skin uh, because uh, our line, it does have the scent and what we use is only essential oils on top of the fixed oils and other extracts and, and, and cream uh, and cream ingredients. But we don't have anything that's unscented at this point. And the reason we're coming up with this is we will be recommending those products for kids and for people with extreme sensitivities Uh, so that's uh, upcoming Uh, the upcoming in particular is unscented uh, skin savior oil blend that would be great for the most sensitive uh, damaged part of the skin and for the kids and even for small babies and that one will have the most gentle and the lightest oils, the most healing oils uh, you can find or we were able to find. So that is upcoming. Uh, if, if we would look at our current line, I would say very gentle product in terms of the oil blends is our eye oil. It was obviously meant for the eye area, but it is as good for any sensitive area on the on our bodies. Uh, the, my only hesitation to recommend it for the kids is because it, it does have a tiny bit of essential oil in it, of rosewood essential oil, and I'm not um, a fan of using essential oils on the, on the babies and the very small kids. So okay. that would be my answer to your question, I guess. Okay, perfect. And how can uh, people buy the products? Is it online? Do you have a store somewhere? Where can they go? Yes, we, we, they are very welcome to go to our online store. That is uh, Zaya Oils, Z-A-Y-A Oils uh, dot com or dot ca uh, and they can type either or the website will be automatically bringing them to the domain they need depending in the what kind or in what part of the world they are so canadian uh, residents will be brought to canadian site and international residents will be brought to our site on the com uh, they are very welcome to follow us on the social media facebook and instagram instagram is elegantly and beautifully handled handled by katarina that's uh, one of the things that She's responsible in, uh, in, in Zaya, and we will be happy to connect with them there. Or if they want to show the question, uh, that can be our email address, which is for me is Anna, A-N-N-A at ZayaOils.com or just the general box, which is an info at ZayaOils.com. We're happy to connect in person with our clients or even with potential clients, answer all their questions. So please, we will be just happy to see you with us. Oh, well, спасибо. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nikki. It was a pleasure welcome. talking to you. Oh, it's, it's uh, an honor to have you um, on the radio show, and we look forward to having you live in direct in front of a beautiful audience audience who will we, you. we are so excited and we will be there both of us will be there Katerina will be there too she was sorry to miss she's very sorry to miss this interview but she's got something going on with her family life so she couldn't make it but we yes understand. we will be both there with you thank you fantastic and just uh, tell us again how we can reach you via email or phone number before we go 
So my direct business cell phone is 416-817-7351. That's um, the phone number in Toronto. So the Canada, the Canada code would be 1. Or just the email address that is anna at ziaoils.com. And our website, www.ziaoils.com. Fantastic. It's been, uh, like I said, an honor. Thank you very much for your time, and thank you for what you're doing for, um, you know, eco-beauty. That is a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful expression of, of helping the environment and also being so conscious about uh, what we're wearing on our skin uh, because our skin is, is uh, it, it's who we are. It's, it's a representation of, of who we are on the inside. So if we take care of all parts, then uh, we're just, uh, making this world a better place, and thank you for what you do. So you've been listening to the Nikki Clark Radio Show on Hotline Radio. Uh, we just uh, heard a fantastic interview uh, by um, co-founder of Zaya, an eco skincare line, and uh, it was Anna Tubina, um, and uh, she will be on our show later on in front of a live audience um, coming up in the next few weeks, so you don't want to miss that if you're in Toronto uh, check out the website, NikkiClarkNetwork.com, to get all the details. And also, please, go to uh, www.ZayaOils.com to get all the information on Zaya and order your Zaya products right away. You will not uh, be disappointed. I've been walking around with this incredible glow since I met the ladies at a holistic um, health show and beauty show and I am very, very proud to uh, age 49. I'll be 50 in December, and people uh, still thinking I'm, I'm you know, somewhere in my 30s and 40s. So I just want to thank Zaya for yeah, keeping that glow on. Thanks a lot, Anna. Have <laughs> thank a great you, day. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.